Water ice detected on the moon's surface. Scientists say they have identified def- definitive evidence for water ice on the surface of the moon. The ice deposits are found at both the North and South Poles and are likely to be ancient in origin. The result comes from an instrument on India's... Uh, I'm not even going to try. Um, the distribution of the ice deposits is patchy. At the lunar South Pole, most of the ice is concentrated in craters. At the Northern Pole, the water ice is both more sparse and, wi- and more widely spread. The Moon Mineralogy Mapper instrument uh, aboard the ship identified three signatures of water ice at the lunar surface. Interesting. But because the Moon is tilted on its axis by about 1.54 degrees, there are places at the lunar poles that never see daylight. The result supports previous indirect detections of surface ice at the Moon's south pole. However, these results could potentially be explained by other phenomena, such as unusually reflective lunar soil. I don't completely understand that paragraph I just read, not going to lie. If there's still enough ice sitting at the surface within the top few millimeters, the water might be accessible as a resource for future human missions to the moon. That's awesome. Guys, are you hearing this? We can go to the moon to uh, contaminate the water with fracking fluid. That's great. We... uh... (laughs) No, this is this is great that scientists are making these discoveries and they're doing this stuff. But, uh, you know, instead of trying to put a lot of energy into getting water from the moon, why don't we stop contaminating the water we have here? I hate to be a negative Nancy on this, <laughs> but that's my initial reaction. Hey, let's start being nice here. Let's start being nice here. I don't mean Earth. I mean, I'm, I'm talking to myself. This is me going like, change your fucking diet, Ron. Stop being an asshole. Pasta's not a food group. Stop being an asshole. No, I do mean the earth. Let's start being nicer to the earth. Uh, It's great we're doing this stuff. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm pro-science all the way. But, uh, you know, let's figure out a way to... um, Let's figure out a way to fix the water here. Well, we know the way. It's just private corporations are, are keeping us from getting there. But let's fix the water here. Let's listen to the science community when it comes to water. We should do that. We should do that. I'm not a scientist, but I can tell you I know some scientists. And when you talk to them about policy, uh, listening to science, they laugh. They laugh. Even scientists that I know that are politically conservative, when it comes to environmental issues, they're huge lefties. And they laugh at what government's doing in a bad way. They laugh to keep themselves from going insane. Because they're like, yeah, no one listens to us. We tell them, hey, this is bad. They don't fucking listen. They don't give a shit. Oil companies don't give a shit. They don't care. You know what? We, we, we should really do this. Um, and my, my cousins are scientists. Uh, well, one of them's a cousin, you know, by marriage, because my, my actual cousin, she, she married him. But I, I consider them both family now uh, for simplicity's sake. But, uh, but yeah, uh, they're scientists. And so whenever I, I want to talk science, I talk to them. And... Uh, I just run something by them, and I'm like, is, does this make sense, or is this uh, stupid? And they're like, no, it makes sense. Or they're like, Ron, that's real stupid. Don't repeat that in public ever. And I'm like, got it, got it, got it. But uh, one thing I really wish we could focus on, they said this isn't totally bogus uh, to entertain, so that's my, ha. We should really focus on how to uh, properly treat and utilize brackish water, like the water that's like half ocean, half like sound. Uh, we should really learn how to, to some extent, I mean, we don't want to go crazy with it, but, uh, but to a small extent, um, it would really help. Uh, anyway, but we should also stop doing the bullshit we're doing to our existing water reservoirs. That would be the most important thing to do. All right. Thank you for sharing that. I'm glad we can exploit the moon soon. <laughs> no, it's really interesting, uh, Daniel, and I appreciate it very much. Get your news on with Ron, don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron, don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together, 